time now and I don't know why. I apologize, Facebook. Hey, good evening. <laughs> Let me start this on my IG outside. Facebook, good evening. I had you guys mute, which means uh, YouTube was on mute as well. So let's start this thing over. Didn't say much at all. Hey, what's up? Hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful day. I had a really good day. Um, had a trying morning, which went into a surprise pop inspection from the state, which went into turning out everything, turning out great. Um, as expected, because at DLC, we stay ready. We stay ready. We don't have no time for no foolishness. We stay ready. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started as usual um, because all the videos are going to be posted. It's either posted on IG or um, on YouTube or here at uh, Facebook. Facebook is where the most, the most family members reside is on Facebook. So all the videos will be posted. So I don't like to get started because we only have a little bit of time. And a week before last, we literally went like an hour and a half because the topic was was bomb. The topic was great. Hey, sis. Hey, Mike. Hey, Nisi. It was a really, really great topic. Mike, what's up? Where you been, brother? Uh, the topic was really, really good. I was not on last week because I was in vacation mode. Had to get a little me time. Vacation mode turned into, wow, two of the most amazing days, I really want to say, of my life. Like, two of the most amazing days out of the, the week. Well, more than two days, but there were two specific days that were um that were great. Consuela, what's up, lady? There were two two days that were really really great. Really enjoyed myself. Mike, you've been traveling. All right, babe, I will forgive you. <laughs> I will forgive you. Traveling is always good. Um, okay, get most down. Good, good. I love to travel. Traveling is always good. All right, y'all. So listen again. Wasn't here last week. Um, the week before, we had an amazing discussion. When I say amazing discussion, if you guys have, have not, hey, babes, if you guys have not had a chance to watch the discussion from week before, week before, um, y'all need to go back and peep that thing. Y'all need to go back and watch that thing. It's, of course, posted again on the Facebook page. It's on the IG page. It's on YouTube. I had a guest um, week before because it's always perfect and it's always great to level it out with the male and female dynamic. So I was able to have a guest on. Um, but go check it out. Go check it out. This conversation tonight, because part two was requested of that. So this conversation tonight going to kind of pop out of that. It's going it's kind of it's going to kind of pop out of that. All right. So, um taking my daughter to you. Okay. Okay. Then headed to the DR. Nice. Traveling. Love it. Nice. Nice. Hey Noreen, what's up, lady? What's up, lady? So, hey, let me do this. Hey, good evening. Welcome to the Real Life Relationship Growth Get Together Weekly Chop It Up Time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have not been here before, you in for a treat. If you have, y'all know what to do. Jump in, give your thoughts, give your opinions, give your experiences, and let's help each other grow. All right? All right. So, so I am Donna. I am Donna. Um, I do not claim, I am not a relationship expert. I am not, don't claim to be, don't proclaim to be. What I am is a black woman on this earth, living this life, doing the damn thing and enjoying myself in the process. That is who I am. That is who I am. I have had some experiences in life that have helped me to grow. Um, whether they were good or bad experiences, giving me opportunity to grow and to learn. 
So what this place is about, what this family does, what we do when we get together on here, we try to give one another wonderful tidbits of life that may help, that may help in some type of way, right? That's what we try to do for one another. So I may have had some experiences that can be helpful to you. You may have had some experiences that can be helpful to me and others. It's called real life relationship growth. So the person point of this is to grow healthy relationships, to make those relationships go um, in the best direction possible. Now, what we don't do on here, we don't mail bash, we don't female bash. We will have jokes. We will do some hee hee ha ha's and you will see those things from time to time. Um, but the the objective is not to insult anyone. All right. It's not to insult anyone. We have laughs. We have tears. All that. We have an array of um, family members um, of different ages um, here. This is the criteria for you to be a part of this family. There is a criteria. Y'all ready? The criteria is you have to be single, dating, courting, married, divorced, or a widower. That is the criteria for you to be here. If you fall in any of these categories, any of them, as an adult, this is the place for you. This is the spot for you to be every Thursday and all week long, to be honest, because we post to the page all week, every day. There is something posted to the page. People send things to me and I post them or they post and I approve and I put it on the page and we have topics that go woo and we chop it up about them. And then we have topics that kind of, you know, just settle and people just kind of think on. So I love it either way. I love it either way. Big, big up to my brothers because the men, the men on this page, they engage, they engage, they engage. Whether they are sending me something through inbox, um, text, um, messenger, whatever, they're sending topics and they're saying, hey, yo, let's talk about this. What do you think about that? And the great thing about it is... Um, ask me, I'm going to post. So everything that's posted on the page is not my brainchild, it's not my experience, but I have no problem posting it because it is someone's experience. It is someone's brainchild. It is something someone may be going through, or they may want to get a, an opinion from others about, all right? We're not here to run people's households, but what we are here to do is to try to um, encourage some healthy ways, a more healthy way of communicating. All right? All right. So, hey, Mary. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? All right. Mary is family. First time here. I see. This is her, I believe this is her first time. Mary, I believe this is your first time on. So, well, so we're going to get this thing going. We're going to get this thing going. Oh, y'all, I got to say this real quick. I got to say this real quick. This week was my father's, my dad's one year anniversary for having his new kidney. He got a kidney last year, August the 7th. They made the call. We was popping. The family, he got the call real early in the morning. You got to be at the hospital. We was grinding, getting it. And by that evening, sir had a new kidney. He had a new kidney and he's doing great. So um, we were going to celebrate on the 7th, but the weather was really bad. And you know how old people are. It's raining. We don't want to go out. <laughs> so we didn't go um, anywhere, but um, we're going to, of course, make mention of it and have a, a celebration for him um, when more of the family gets together. We're going to do that thing. Flooded, Kamaria, um, we're going to have that time. So uh, August the 7th was a birthday, technically, a birthday um, for my bonus daddy, for my daddy. All right? Okay. All right. Let's get this thing going, y'all. Let's get this thing going. So our topic, our topic this evening is, where is it? Screen popped out. Okay. Here we go. All right. 
Our topic this evening is, girl, did he say you were it? Girl, did he say you were it? Did he say you were it? That is our topic tonight. So let's get into this. Let's get into this. So again, like I said, the week before last, our discussion was dating, kind of paraphrase, I don't remember exactly, but it was dating, how is, uh, dating is different in your 20s compared to dating in your 50s. Something like that we were talking about. We got into it. And that thing got so good, I said we went an hour and a half. Um but the discussion went really, really well. It was some good input um, from different people. Um, and it was good. It was good. We had a good time. We had a good time. Go back. You got to go back. And I do think that tonight will kind of stem off of that. So let me tell y'all where I got this from, where I got this topic from. Let me show you guys the meme that I, I saw on Facebook. All men don't cheat. Some of you women just assume you in a relationship. IG, I know, I know, I know. Y'all didn't see it pop up, but IG, it is on the page. It is on the page, okay? All right, all right. All men don't cheat. Some of you women just assume you in a relationship. Listen, I saw that and I was like, ooh, that's a topic. Ooh, that's a topic. All men don't cheat. Some of you women just think you're in a relationship. Some of you women assume. You assume you think in a relationship. Now, y'all know me. The subject and the topic may kind of look heavy one way, but this is about growth. So we're going to hit it all. We're going to hit it all, right? All right, so here we go. All men don't cheat. Women assume. It's the women that assume they're in a relationship. All right. <laughs> I have to agree with that statement. All men don't cheat. I agree with that. All men don't cheat. I don't know every man on this earth, and I don't know every man's secrets and what they do or whatever, but I refuse to believe on this wonderful earth that God created with the mindset of some people who have grown and been taught and have certain um, moral fortitudes about themselves that, that cheating is a no-no. Cheating is a taboo. Cheating is not acceptable. Cheating is not acceptable. I, 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 I believe that. I believe that. I don't believe that all men cheat. I don't believe that all women cheat. I don't believe that all women cheat. Statistically, you would think that there are more women, more men, excuse me, cheating than women. There are more men cheating than women. I don't know the statistics on who cheats more. All I know is that I hear people say, I've heard it time and time again, and I've actually seen women, this is the phrase, women cheat better. If women cheat, if a woman is going to cheat, you're not even going to know it. You're not even going to know it if she cheats. But I've also heard that when a woman cheats, if a woman cheats, it's, it, there's a reason behind it. Because women are more emotional than men. Women are more emotional than men. That's just the makeup of us. Because, because women are more emotional than men, um, they tend to cheat when the emotions are so taxed that they're not getting what they need necessarily and someone else has a way to creep in because the brother has left the door open. Dexter, sexy Dexter, hey! 
because the door was open for another to creep in. Now, I, I, I know, I know for a fact, um, some of you have heard that, or some of you may even have experienced that, right? Some of you may heard it. So statistically speaking, it said and thought that men cheat, more men cheat than women cheat. Joe, hello, Joe. <laughs> hello, Joe. Yeah, this this my friend Joe. This is my friend Joe. He always comes from a different perspective. So let Joe said women cheat better because the men, men stay quiet. Because the men stay quiet. I th that really contradicts what I just said, Joe. That contradicts what I said. It's men cheat better because the men, I'm sorry, women cheat better. Because the men say, okay, 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 got you, got you. It doesn't, it, it doesn't contradict it. He's just coming from the male standpoint. Got you, got you. Because the men stay quiet. Pretty much, pretty much. The men stay quiet, Um, but the women, and I'm not, look, we're not about to see who cheats better. Like, like, like we about to compete, but I'm not even going to make that comment. Okay, Joe, women cheat better. Because the men stay quiet. I, I can understand that. Emotionally wise, emotional, when the emotions are tapped in, women tend to do this because their emotions have been, their feelings have been tapped on, danced on, hurt. So when they see that chick or they find out, which I hate, and when I say hate, I hate this. Please explain to me why. When a man cheats with a woman, the woman wants to attack the other woman and not the one who was obligated and committed to them. And why? Makes sense. The emotions of it. The emotions of it. Because we are emotional beings, right? So I get what Joe is saying. I get what Joe is saying. Women cheat better because the men ain't going to say nothing. Like, I'm not going to fight this dude. Sometimes. Sometimes. So we can say that. We can't speak for every and all, but there are some men who wouldn't say a word because they like what they're doing in secret. Or there's some men that's going to go to battle. They're going to go to battle because, because they're jealous and, you know, all of that stuff. Dexter said women cheat better because women plan for everything. Most men who cheat don't care if they get caught. Hmm. Hmm. Most men that cheat don't care if they get caught. That makes sense. That makes sense. He may not want to get caught, but he probably don't care if he get caught. Why? Because the majority of the time, we see women taking in back that cheat, but let that woman cheat on that man. Oh, the world is over. There is no going back. It, it is very, very hard. He gonna, if he hits you back, you're going to pay holy hell for it for a good minute. Unless, unless, here it is, ding, 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 counseling is pursued. And if enough counseling is pursued, then the two can get back where they need to be and not throw that thing up in each other's face or that throw that thing up in, in their face. So men tend to not come back from cheating, a cheating experience. Women tend to take men back when they cheat. Emotions, emotional, nurturing, um, all of those things that are embedded in women that may appear bad. Oh, you took him back? You going to take that chin back? He cheated on you? Da, da, da. The reason I feel women take men back after they cheat is because of the maternal instinct. That same thing that makes that man fall for you is that same thing that can hurt you, that can hurt you. That feeling to want to care 
and and that maternal instinct that maternal instinct Woo! we already started off going a little bit of a different direction but we're gonna read this thing back we're gonna read this thing back the point of the meme it says all men don't cheat women assume they're in a relationship women assume they're in a relationship now let's go to this point because 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 i'm big on this i'm big when i say i'm big on this i'm big on this and y'all have heard me say it so many times until until we have the come to jesus meeting there are no assumptions there are no assumptions i believe that men and women should date more person when they're in a single realm of life when they are single <clears throat> when they are single i'm gonna get it dexter when they are single i believe men and women should go out on dates let me be clear go out on dates and get to know several people I don't believe in locking in to the first thing that shows you attention on either side. And it takes really mature people to do that and understand that. Okay, hold on, calm down. I don't like that, I don't agree with that, and I'm mature. Okay, I, I, okay. So when I say mature, I mean, this is what I mean. A mature mindset says, this person doesn't even really know me yet. This person doesn't even really know if they like me yet. And I don't even know if I like them. So how, how can I have the expectation that they will cut off every person that shows them interest because of me? mature mindset if you think that because you ask a young lady for her phone number that that's supposed to be like up oh, don't nobody else call or you think that you went out on a date with this brother and he gave you all type of accolades of how beautiful you were and how great you smelled this this that that that's it you have locked him down that is in mature let me get let me get let me get these comments whoops dexter said let's keep it real a man can sleep with anything for that woman but when a woman cheats it's emotional emotional for her and the person means something to her Ooh, dexter you on to something right there brother you on to something right there because then I say, what did I say? Emotions. Emotions make you cry sometimes. Emotions. Claudette said, if a woman assumes she's in a relationship, her heartache is her own because she should know better than to assume anything. Have that come to Jesus meeting before you ever assume before you ever assume the sound is cutting out yeah it I, I i i can tell i can tell i hope it's not really really bad but i see when i'm moving that it delays a little bit are you guys getting what i'm saying or is, is it too choppy is it too choppy natasha good hey welcome 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 um let me know if it's too choppy y'all Cortland said the, the sound is okay good 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 okay so Dexter said I agree on dating different people let's get to know each other as friends first before we become lovers how how smart is that like that is that really feels like common sense to me thank you Mike, Mike. thank you brother that really feels like common sense to me that you're not getting yourself all entangled and tied with somebody until something said there's a conversation we had 
I call it the come to Jesus meeting. Now, when I say that for the people that are new and listening and you have a different belief, that doesn't mean literal form of Jesus. Come to Jesus meeting for me means it's serious. When I say Jesus, it's serious. Okay? You can what you want, but that's what that means when I say a come to Jesus meeting. That means we, we laying it all down on the line. It's serious. We ain't here to play no games. I'm about you. You about me. And we don't want anybody else in this realm of us going through this process of getting to know each other deeper, deeper level. The come to Jesus meeting. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing when you have a come to Jesus meeting. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. um, Women. Women are more emotional. Women are more emotional. But when you're dating, when you're dating brothers, y'all have to be mature enough to understand that and consider that. Every woman you meet does not deserve a good morning, beautiful text. Every woman you meet does not deserve all the accolades that are laid out to grab her focus and attention all at once. Let's be fair. If a woman is assuming she is in a relationship with you, what, pray tell, sir, did you do to get her to this point? To make her feel and think like she meant so much more than she actually does. I told y'all, the topic Always look like what you think. It's not going to sound what you think. Claudia said, when you develop a good friendship before intimacy, or should I say sexual intimacy, it's so much better because you get to know one another on a level that is unreal. And when you decide to become lovers and things go awry, you can fall back on your friendship. Wow. Love, love it, love it, sis. Love it, love it, love it, sis. So accurate. So accurate. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. So brothers, brothers, because we have to remember, we want to go in the direction of the lead, the head, the forefront, the beginning, the the direction giver in in the relationship. In the relationship, because let's 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 be honest. Let's be honest. A woman's position in a relationship is not the head. Dig deep on that one. Dig deep on that one. It's not the head. It's not the head. Does that mean she can't be a decision maker? She can't be a part of making the decisions. She can't make more money. She can't do this. No, doesn't at all. It means a woman's position in whatever realm you look at it is to be a helpmate. Is to be a helpmate. Now, are women put in positions where they can't be that? I.e., becoming a single mother, for example. Yeah, yeah. And then she has to head out her household. She has to take care of these things in a manner that if they there was a male partnership, those things wouldn't happen. Those things wouldn't happen. Hey, Jocelyn, do I know that's I know that uh, IG y'all don't give straight names uh, um, all the time. So Jocelyn two five. That's all. That's how I said. That's how I'm saying. Hey, Jocelyn two five on IG. Good evening. Um, a woman's position in place. Not to say that she can't head out and she can't leave, but we talking about when we when we talking about the realm of man and the woman and the man being in position of leadership. Because ladies, I don't care what y'all say. A man that leads, I put this on my Facebook yesterday, day before. I have no problem being submissive to a man who is holding my peace near and dear. Brother, what do you want? 
If you holding my peace near and dear, that means you're protecting, you 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 you're providing, you're doing all these things that my natural, innate, natural self needs, and it piques my interest. And we don't understand that there are things that we have to do to balance and peak the interest and hold the interest, then we should stay single. If you don't understand that your job, sir, is to make this woman feel safe and secure in all areas, then you need to stay single. If you, sir, are married and you're not getting that, you're not getting that, then you, sir, need to go back to the drawing board and say, baby, I was doing this thing all wrong. And I am here to fix it because I want you to follow my lead. I want you to follow my lead. So this goes back to the meme. All men don't cheat. That ain't even a point. This is where the caveat is. This is where the point of that comment is. Women, women assume they're in a relationship. They assume they're in a relationship. So let's talk to the ladies. Let's talk to the ladies. Girl. Remember I said, and I mentioned all the time about that come to Jesus meeting. Sis, do not put yourself in a position. How can I say this? Do not put yourself in a position where you play in girlfriend, wife, all of these titles that fall under something that that brother should earn. Do not put yourself in that position. Unless that man is showing you that he is earning and he is pursuing you, girl, you better act like Tom, Dick, Harry, Mo, Joe, all of them matter to you in your way that you are. Because this is how this happens. This is how this happens. There's a tension shown. There's a tension shown in ways that we need. And when they prick on those heartstrings, when they say certain things, when they do certain things, they change the tire, we get a flat tire. And we, you know, talking and be like, oh, I got a flat tire. And they come to the rescue. Those are those things, gentlemen, that prick on our heartstrings. When you have a need and they take care of that, that need, those are the things, sir, that prick on our heartstrings. So if you don't have intention, if you're not being intentional and you don't have intention on looking at this woman and moving in a direction with her that ends up just as the two of you all be very, very careful and very, very clear when you take care of the needs that she has. Because some women, to their detriment, assume they're in a relationship. And we know what it means to assume. The first three letters of assume. When you assume, you make an ASS out of yourself. And then we will come back and be mad because we done made our ass of ourselves. And this brother yet has yet to say to us, I want you and you alone. I want you and you alone. This is how we get tied up, tangled up, and tore up when we give ourselves to a man has, that has, ladies, if you think the pom pom is going to get him and keep him, you are wasting your orgasm. You're wasting your orgasm. Because sex is not what keeps a man. Ask him. Sirs, let me ask y'all. Men, could y'all please type in? Will sex keep y'all? I'm gonna wait. Do 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 do. Will sex keep y'all? 
serve. Mike said, when a man feels that you are the one, he will make himself available to you at all times. Woo! Because I'm equate to us women as you're focusing on us. You're giving us your time because time is precious. Time is precious. And if you give, I, I know that's Joel. Let me wait to see who name come up. Oh, that was Cortland. The pins, LOL, but no. The what? Oh, okay. Sex. The question is sex. Will sex keep you? You that boy talking about the pins. LOL. No. Cortland said no. Sex won't keep you. This is one of the men. Sex won't keep a man. So if you feel like you giving yourself to this brother and it's going to keep him and he's going to say now, oh, he's going to be my wife. You're fooling yourself. Now, there have been situations and occasions that sister don't put it on that brother. And he has said in his experiences, good Lord, I don't want to lose this. That woman, I don't know what look. So there are situations. Everybody's experience is different. But the general consensus of it, sex will not keep a man. So if you feel like having sex with him is going to make him connect just to you, I'm going to read that, Courtney. If you think that will connect him only to you, Courtney, a good point. He said, it will keep me coming back, but not committing. Let's read that again. Sex, giving yourself sexually to a man, coming a statement from a man, and brothers, y'all chime in if y'all agree. He said, it will keep me coming back, but it will not make me commit. Clutter said a person can say all the right words, but are they consistent? That's another thing, ladies. If this brother is not consistent, then you pretty much can bank on that he is putting those comments several places. A good morning text does not move me. It, do, it doesn't. It doesn't move me. If we go out on a date, we meet, however we meet, we have a conversation, we talk a bit, whatever, and we decide to go out on a date. And the next morning, you texting me, good morning, beautiful. Copy and paste. Very possible. But guess what? There are several texts coming through, good morning, beautiful. So just like men, there are certain things that move women to commit to men. If I'm assuming, if she's assuming, because this sister don't assume, I don't do any assumptions. And if the man is assuming when it comes to me, he might get his feelings hurt. So there's no assumption because we don't have that come to Jesus meeting. We're going to talk about the importance of us Focusing only on one another. So, sis, if you're assuming you're in a relationship, this is another big thing. If you don't know, if you're assuming, you're not. Not. Mona K, what's up, babe? Where you been? How oh, my girls? Hey, Mona K. Dexter said, nowadays, women lead with sex. Men are looking for a woman who can be his peace. What do you have to offer other than sex? After sex, what do you have to offer? Ladies, y'all better listen. The men are speaking. The men are speaking. Miss you too, babe. You got to bring my girls by. I saw their first day in school pictures. Men are speaking. And this is this not here. We're hearing this over and over and over and over again. And that means you're dealing with your man who has his focus and 
his sights set on a woman who can give him way more than the physical. Way more than the physical. Uh, let's see. Carla said, especially if you're giving it to me and not expecting or demanding anything from me, we're not building any type of foundation. Calm. Claudia said, sex will never keep a partner alone. I don't care how good it is because it eventually fades. You want the spiritual and mental. You want clarity. You want clarity. Most definitely. Most definitely. And let's not sit up here and act like we always been in this mature mindset. We always been in this mature mindset. Y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm pretty transparent because there's somebody thinking this. And there's somebody who is right where I've been or can high five and be like, girl, I know what you're talking about. I personally have never been casual with sex. Never. Not judging anybody. But there are some people, men and women, who are casual with sex. They're casual with sex. There are some relationships who which that have stood the test of time and they've started out sexually. There are some relationships. But are you going to take that chance that that would be you? That would be you? First and foremost, self-respect has to be there. So when I said I've never, never been casual, never. If I've had sex with a man, it has been something to the relationship. Something, something, something. So for those who are on the other side of it, just know that loving yourself unconditionally speaks highly of who you're going to give yourself to. One night stands are dangerous. This day and time, People are doing so much. I say this day and time, but let's be honest. Back in the day, when people was doing the most, they was doing the most. Now, when people are doing the most, they are doing the most. So no matter what time frame we're in, people can be dangerous. People can be malicious. People can be hurtful. People will have sex with you. They will take your money. They will take your time. They will take this, this, and that, and they will walk away like you existed. That's why it's so important and so crucial not to assume a thing. Now, this is not to say a relationship that people go into purposely can't end up in some type of hurt. It can. But when you guard the parameters of your relationship, when you focus on making sure day by day by day there's no stone unturned for the man or for this woman very 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 highly 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 likely that you two are going to make it you two are going to make it uh dexter said women quit telling men what you're looking for because he will be that to get what he wants from you oh exactly Exactly. My thing is, if a man asks me, what are you looking for? I responded to this guy one time. And um, he seemed to be a really nice guy. Not saying that he's not a nice guy. He just was not the guy for me. But he asked me if I would describe myself in a certain way where he could read it, right? And my response to that was, I wasn't insulted necessarily, but my response to that was, I'm not going to do your homework for you. Like, really? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Find out. If you're really interested, if you're really intrigued, then you find out how good this one is. Best thing spread. Now, you may be a slice of bread, too, but I am the best thing since sliced bread. Think highly of yourself. Think highly of yourself. <laughs> I'm about to mess up again, and my girl going to be mad at me. 
Kalodum. <laughs> Shalom. I mess up her name every time. And my girl has inboxed me and given me the pronunciation of it. What? Okay. Babes, I, I, I love you. I do. Give me the other. The, you, you told me inbox. You told me. You told me. What's the what? Give me your your other that you're called by that that makes it easy for me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. And I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for being here. But but type in for me in the chat um, the name that that everyone calls you. Because I always mess it up. Next time we in the same place, the same spot together. I need you to say it over and over for me and I, until I get it right. Until I get it right. But welcome, babes. I'm glad you're here. So when we care for ourselves, when we love ourselves unconditionally, we don't put ourselves in positions, ourselves in positions where we're going to assume. The meme says, it said, let me put it back up. It said, and y'all saw it on the page. Yeah. It said, all men don't cheat. Some of you women just assume you're in a relationship. You just assume you're in a relationship. Does that take away the accountability and the responsibility of that man to be sure you don't assume anything? Hex to the yeah. It does. It does not leave you brothers free and clear. It does not. If this woman is making that assumption, then you need to understand it is very possible that you have put her in that position where she is assuming that she means more to you than you are saying she does. And ladies, we have a responsibility to hold ourselves to a high esteem that says, unless me and this man have made a decision be together, to be working toward being one, I'm going to enjoy, I'm going to do me. Men, same thing. Men, same thing. Because men have feelings too. They want to feel wanted and needed and loved as well. They do. And let's, and let's say this. Let's be honest on this one. Sometimes, sometimes a man will hold back because he's scared. He's scared to put himself out there for fear that he could end up getting hurt. He could be rejected. Men are afraid of rejection. Now, that's not my made up comment or thought. Something I've learned, something I've been told, something I realize men fear rejection. So sometimes a brother will hold back what he really wants to say and try to wait because they fear rejection. But sirs, let me say this to you. Based on our makeup, how 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 how, how we our mindset is set up, you snooze, you lose. You snooze when you lose. When a man comes like a man and you have no doubt. There's nothing that she will not give you. There is nothing that she will reciprocate what you are doing. Uh, Dexter said, no, you need to ask for clarification. The man being a gentleman does not mean you're in a relationship. Most definitely. Quinn said, no, it doesn't take away the accountability. But it's on, but it's on both parties. Yeah. Yeah, ladies, we can't sit back and expect this man to do all these grand, grand, how I say that, grandiose, how, y'all know what I'm saying, things, and we be like, mm, thank you, I'm going to see how good, I'm going to see if he going to keep doing this, I'm going to see, you know, what he's willing to do to get me, what, ma'am. The man is doing the things to get you. Stop playing. 
gaze. We miss out on so much in life. Relationships, I think great, wonderful relationships are missed out for several reasons, missed out on. One reason I think is because of what I just said. Women have such this, this such expectation of these men that are unrealistic and unfair in so many ways that they miss out on that good brother because they're not seeing fireworks all the time, all the time. I feel like there's one reason why great relationships and great people are missing out second one second one i think y'all gotta y'all gotta hit me on this y'all gotta tell me what y'all think second one he is not necessarily your type physically he does not look like what you made up in your mind that he should be and he should look like there is nothing wrong with having a preference and a type. There's nothing wrong with that. But how many times can you miss out on something great because of the way it's packaged or the way it looks? Cortland said, reality TV, the internet. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. People see this reality thing, reality TV, and this is happening and that is happening. And he's doing this and she's doing that. And they get caught up and lost in the foolishness and have this expectation of the average man or the average woman, which is all of us. Let's be honest. We're average to the point of this because I'm not average. I'm down to not average. But we're average to the point of this. There's an expectation that this man who may make 28 to $45,000 a year for him to come like he made six figures. For him to take you out and spend all this money <clears throat> when this brother may very well have a budget that he's seeking to stay within. Unrealistic. For her to be all that you need that your mama did all of these things hey jeremiah all of these things that you're looking for the expectations are so high and so ridiculous when you're not doing and showing what you need to do and what you need to show to position yourself to receive all this stuff all men don't cheat. Women assume they're in a relationship. That is the topic. All men don't cheat. Girl. The topic is girl. Did he tell you were it? Did, did y'all have that come to Jesus meeting? Did he say to you, listen, I want you and only you. And I want to see where this goes. I want to allow this thing to grow. Because I pouring into you. I'm going to do X, Y, Z. And I would love for you to come along and do this with me. If y'all don't have that conversation, your assumptions make an ass out of you. Husbands. Husbands, because y'all know we're going to hit everybody. Husbands, if you're not doing that and you expect your wife to reciprocate all the things you need, you want, and you desire, Sir, you need to go back to the drawing board and understand emotional part inside of her. So if a woman is assuming that she is in a relationship before that come to Jesus meeting, shame on you, sis. Shame on you. If a woman is assuming she's with you because you're giving her all these accolades and all this attention and this and this and that, and you can sit up and be like, oh, we're not together. Shame on you, sir. We forget the precious things about relationships. And we are in such a common place that we do these things for people that really don't matter. And then when it's time for it to matter, it's so common. There's nothing special about it. Y'all, we, 
relationships are not hard. They're not hard. If we think about it like that, this isn't hard. All I need to do is show this person that I love, love and I care for them. And when I do that unselfishly, they're going to reciprocate that. If somebody in your life is going the opposite way of you, dig deep on this one, check yourself. Man or woman, check yourself. What have you done and what are you doing that doesn't put them in this space where they understand and know undoubtedly without a second guess that they are priority one in your life. We want people to feel that way and act that way, but we don't give them reasoning to do that. And then we have to understand, we have to take the time to understand each other. That's why the come to Jesus meeting is so important. That's why that it's, it's so important to have conversations on a daily basis why? Because we put so much into everything else. Why can't we pour that depthness into our relationships? If a woman is assuming, sir, that she is with you, and you, you can sit up and say, no, we're, you have done her injustice. Because it's something you did say that made her feel that way. Now, let's be realistic. Let's be honest. Some people, some women, based off of their emotional makeup, will make that assumption anyway. <clears throat> and some women may feel like, we tipped on this, if I give him the physical assets of me, I got him locked. Girl, please. Come on. But fellas, fellas, we all have to be accountable. We have to take accountability to why a person is in this emotional whirlwind when it comes to us or why we are even in an emotional whirlwind. It is our responsibility to take care of our mental and our emotional before we lay it on somebody else and expect them to take it on. It's not fair. It's not fair. So, sis, don't make no assumptions. Don't make no assumptions. Uh, Mike said, at a certain age, the games are just ridiculous. And who has time for that? Work. Who has time for that? I have zero tolerance. And, and really, Mike is saying at this age, but if we really think about it, even at a, a younger age, who has time to be played with? Nobody has time for games. There's so much selfish attitude about what I didn't get, what I need, what you're not doing for me, what you, I, 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 I. But you want someone to give, 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 give. And all they're hearing is, I, 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 I need this. I need that. I need this. I need that. Give them the opportunity. Hey, Corey, what's up, girl? Give them the opportunity to reciprocate what you're putting out. And if they are not reciprocating what you're putting out, love yourself enough to say, this is not for me. I appreciate it. I understand. I know. But this is not for me. There has to be no anger and frustration and arguing and this and this and that. If we really, 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 really think about it, your job sustains your life and your family. You have to work to pay bills, car notes, food, clothes for the kids, clothes for yourself, if you don't have no kids, whatever. You are going to put 110% into that job. If you even think there's an opportunity, there's a chance that you're going to get fired. Am I lying? Am I lying? <laughs> what? Well, I said that's because y'all mama told y'all y'all stuff is made of gold. 
My stuff is made of gold, sir. Which is why I'm not going to just jump to the assumption because I'm caring more about me and that gold. You don't just give gold away. Damn it. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> Colin said, what's funny is when men get to the place, they are ready to stop playing games. That's when women are like, now it's my turn to play and I can do it better. Immature thinking. Immature thinking. Why? All you're doing playing games is prolonging the satisfaction that you're trying to get to. Somebody write that down. When you play games, you are prolonging the satisfaction that you are trying to get to. Because games are temporary. Games are temporary. They don't last. Real is what lasts. Real is what lasts. So if you are in a situation, let's go from the single. If you are in a situation and you are single and you have not had that decision and that discussion for yourself with this person that you've gone out on a date with, that you you like, you're enjoying spending time with them. If you have not made a decision for yourself, first of all, don't let them push you into making that decision. L listen, showing, actions speak louder than words. If you're showing me something, I can see where you're coming from. You can talk all day. I am not big on words. Do you know how many times somebody says, oh, girl, you fine. Oh, girl, you beautiful. Oh, girl, you this and you that. Now, let's not get it twisted. I believe it. <laughs> but no, for real. For real. You say that all day. But unless you're showing something says that, that shows that, excuse me. Corey replied to Corlin. Corlin said, what's funny? Uh, let's see. Where'd he go? Come on, computer. Work with me. Y'all not moving. Okay, let me try here. Uh, did it, did it, okay, there it goes. Corlin said, what's funny is when men get to the place where they're ready to stop playing games, women play it better. Corey said, Yours can be mad if go go but blah, 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 blah. okay. Corey said Corey B. Yo, I the restream is acting a little funky on my glasses. Corey said a lot of times men don't stop with the games for a while. Sometimes so much so that some women have given up and decide they don't want anything serious. It comes to that. It does come to that point. It comes to that point and it comes to that place that you know what the hell with it. I'm so tired. I don't even, I don't have time for it. Let me tell y'all married people something. Ain't nothing out here in these streets. If you have a husband or a wife at home and they are not abusing you mentally, physically, emotionally, because we ain't going to stand for that. You figure out how to make that thing work. Because there was something that got you in the first place. And what happens when things fade is because we have not given time to it. If you see your car outside in the sun and it's just sitting, sitting, sitting. And the paint is fading. You're going to go wax that thing, give a paint job maybe, replenish that thing, give it up. Listen. If it's fading, it's because you've allowed it to fade. Now, remember I said, if there's no abuse going on, mental, physical, emotional, all of that stuff, make that thing work. Figure that thing out. Sit down on somebody's couch and let them help you work through those emotions that you don't even understand why they are there. Or those emotions that you're carrying over to the other person, which is so fair. But we, it, they, it is what it is. Things happen. Trauma in life happens. Situations in life 
happen. But what needs to happen is you need to not let something someone did in your past control your now and your future, because that means they're still controlling you and you missing out. Uh, yours can be mad if gold can be made of gold, but mine is pure, pure platinum. All right, sir. He said his stuff is platinum. Yeah, lady, I better. That's right. Do, 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 do. The games are never on the person. Carla said the games are never on the person who played us, but on the next up. And now people are getting hurt. That's what I was just saying. Mad equal made. Mad. Okay. Oh, oh, typo. Mad. Oh, I got you. I got you. I'm catching up. He was talking about his the plan. <laughs> the games are never played. Mmm. Yeah. Lord said, Lord have, Corey said, Lord have mercy. Platinum. <laughs> well, get me started, Corey, because that's my cousin. I do that thing up. Hurt people hurt people. That's right. We ain't gonna skip past that. We're gonna come back. She said, Lord have mercy, platinum. <laughs> You're right. Hurt people hurt people. Hurt people hurt people. Bola said, we have to teach our young men value the same way we teach young ladies. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. If you're not teaching your son, I told mine, you better make sure that young lady is worth it. If you are a part of you physically, make sure she worth it. Like, who, who, who is she? To be able to receive all of your goodness, sir. Thor's hammer, LOL. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> Corey said, I also don't think folk take time for themselves to heal from heartbreak before getting into something new. Yeah, most definitely. But Corey, to the defense of that, and I was having a conversation um, the other day. I was having a conversation the other day. Sometimes you don't realize it until it's in front of you. Some people feel like they're healed, they're good, they're ready to move to the next step, next level, next relationship. And then they actually get into another one. And then it's like, oh my gosh. I am still struggling. I'm still struggling with hurt that she put on me years ago, that he put on me. And all this time, I think I'm good. So I'm going to jump into this next relationship. I'm going to go in this next relationship and we're going to be together and we're going to date or we're going to get married and something happens and you all discombobulated. You all messed up because you feel and think that person is going to do the same to you that the initial person did. Got healed. Got to stay. And, and I'm not going to lie. I was that person at one point. I was. I've, I've dealt with some hurt in my life coming from a man who said I was the best thing he has ever. But what I had to do was realize I'm wasting precious time life experience and moments and possibly another great relationship because I'm so focused on what he did. Don't let people your happiness. Uh Corlin said once you realize you're not good, you have to be mature enough to tell them or leave the situation. Yeah. And if you can't leave the situation, because some of these folks are mad and you can't leave the situation you don't want to leave the situation, that part of you that wants to stay, that means it's time for y'all to tackle that thing together. And you have to be fair in the process and know that your hurt is not theirs. And they can be supportive, but you can't keep holding them to an iron that they did not even create. You can't do it. Dexter said, do women want men of value or do do men or do women want a thug? Good guys finish last. 
Corey, you said preach. Are you saying that? Oh, no. Okay. Corey is saying that to once you realize you're not good, you have to step back. What? Corey said what the what? Okay. Do women want? Okay. Corey, you keep you replying. Thank you, ma'am. I get you. I'm keeping up over here, but Restream don't, don't show me that. All right. So Dexter said, do women want men of value or do women want a thug? Good guys in his lap. Let me tell you something about that mezzo mix, Dexter. Women want a mezzo mix. And let me explain to you what a mezzo mix is. And this, this comes with the things that we deserve. We need. We need. We need come, wait a minute, Corey. Let me help him out. Let me help him out. Let me help him out. We need to feel. Corey, you better stop liking my stuff, LOL. <laughs> Don't play with him. We want foot. Thank you, Corey. We want to feel protected. We want to feel protected. So if in your thought process, Dexter, that is saying to you a thug, I need my baby to be a little thugged out. I do. Now, thugged out doesn't mean he going to treat me like a common anything or anybody that means if something goes down i want to feel protected and to put a positive and not a negative connotation to the term thug that's what i want i want to feel protected dexter so that's what that means so yes women do want a little bit of a thug but i also want Yes, it does. LOL, stop it. Yeah. What, Courtland? I do want a little bit of a thug. But I also want that man that can communicate well, that can help me when I'm feeling frustrated and down. Do Men, do y'all understand? We don't need y'all to solve our problems. But when we come to y'all something, Really, babe? Wow. She did that. Oh, I'm sorry that that happened. Even if it is something that we caused to happen. Now, I'm not saying call us when we've done something, but it's not going to help for you to be like, well, shouldn't have done it. You have killed. You have killed that feeling that I need from you. Now you let me give y'all a little some little tidbit, brothers. You can be like, well, babe, honey, whatever you call your significant other, I understand you're upset about that. And I understand that's bothering you. But can I suggest that next time, maybe if you do it this way. The outcome will be different. That kill anything in you, sir. What it did, it helped your lady to feel like, wow, my man protecting me. Because chastisement comes in different ways. God loves us dearly. And he chastises us with love. Let me read some comments because Corey and Portland going in right now. Cool, like a, uh, not a thug, but a man that knows how to be in control. Who said that? Who said that? Mona K. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's what that is. A man that knows how to be in control. And him being in control does not belittle me, makes me feel less than, makes me feel unimportant, makes me feel unappreciated. It doesn't do any of that. But when I see my man in control, when I say something has happened and he's like, where is it? What you need? I, I got you. I'll take care of that. How do we need to fix this? Y'all made me break my glasses. Sir. Hey, Carlos. Hey, Carlos on IG. Carlos, I'm sorry. We 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 about to end this thing. You gonna end this thing, but you can definitely catch the full playback when I.
finish, okay? I appreciate you popping on, but we come on at 8 o'clock every Thursday. 8 o'clock every Thursday. Um, Let's see. If y'all see me looking back and forth, that's because IG restream um, is trying to keep up. Not a thug, but a man in control. Corla said, you want a thug mentality, not thug actions. Yes, sir. Exactly. Mona K said, right. Be a friend to me. We need... If my man is not my friend, that's hurtful. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Cortland said, I call it being a gangster with gentleman qualities. I like that. A gangster with gentleman qualities because you make me feel protected. You make me feel protected. Corey said, I enjoy a man whose disposition allows me to let my guard down and just be a lady. Because I don't have to worry about my own safety with him. Yes. This thing is reciprocal, y'all. Men, if you want your woman, your lady, your wife, your girlfriend, your intended to respond to you in that manner, that soft manner, that maternal manner, treat her as such. And if y'all have gotten off balance with that and you feel disrespected and not appreciated, let me tell y'all a good, good trick. Let me tell y'all a trick. Y'all listening, man? If y'all feel unappreciated, disrespected, if y'all feel that, let me tell y'all a trick how to fix that. Talk to her and tell her this is how you are feeling. And then say to her, Within all of this, how I'm feeling, how I'm feeling, I'm not feeling like the man that I know I am. And I would love, am I going too fast? Y'all writing it down? I'm not feeling like the man know I am. And what would help that is for you to do X, Y, Z. Now, if she like, I ain't, that ain't my job. I ain't, da, 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 da. You keep doing what you do, sir. You keep doing what you do. Use your powers for good. When a man leaves, I will guarantee you there will be a turnaround. If there is not a turnaround, money back guarantee. If if not, if there's not a turnaround, then that's going to speak volumes to you. And you have to realize what your worth is and move accordingly. Y'all heard what I said. Stem, Stern, sorry, my glasses. I done messed up. I done stem like we in class. Mike said, stern but firm, an alpha man with understanding. Get y'all. I'm glad I brought two pair of glasses because I'm about to throw these. He says, stern but firm, an alpha man with understanding. Whew. Baby, what you want? I am here to give, to reciprocate, to respond. If a woman is assuming she's in a relationship with you, what are you doing, sir? If you are assuming that you're in a relationship with a man who has not had that come to Jesus meeting with you, what are you doing, ma'am? We got to be fair on both spectrums. Cortland said, a nice guy can be all that, but I think it's it gets confused because we don't dress the part of a so-called thug. Why are you worried about that? I, I just told you the ingredient to how that works, sir. Why are you worried about dressing the part? Because let me tell you what's going to happen. All right. She's going to end up dressing you anyway. <laughs> that doesn't mean she's going to flip your whole wardrobe. But listen, if my man is, I really like your hair. Woo! I really like your hair a certain way. Guess what I'm going to do? Uh, 
I'm going to go to my stylist, my braid, or whoever does my hair, or if I do it myself, and I'm going to make that happen. Why? Because my man said he likes my hair flowing. He likes my hair short. He It does something for him when I... So guess what? If she is changing your clothing, if she is changing your style of dress, change it. It's for her. We missing the ingredients in healthy, happy, growing, thriving relationships. And we're missing the ingredients because sometimes we're a little too stubborn to make it happen. Well, what are you saying, sir? Carla said I'm missing what he's saying. So why are you saying explaining what you're saying? My apologies. Um, I'm just reading and I that's what you meant. But explain to us what you're saying. We gotta go, y'all. It's 924. Corey said, listen. Try to get that how she typed it with all them ends. Listen. Femininity is a full-time position. And submission comes with it. If I have to protect myself, I can't be the lady my man desires. <laughs> Corey, should I say it again for the people in the back? When, when I tell you to be feminine, to have the feminine quality, to have that and to not be able to exude that because you'd have been put in a position where you it is frustrating and it's tiring and, 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 and get somebody else to do it. It is frustrating. All right, Corey said, I mean, sorry, Corlin said I'm missing a point. It's too deep and too much to type. Corey said, Ugh, Cortland, I want to know what you meant. Just kind of paraphrase it or something for us, Cortland. What what am I missing? Cortland said, and fellas, maybe y'all can help him out. Cortland said, a nice guy can be all that, but I think it, it gets confused because we don't dress the part of a so-called thug. Help him. We already passed time, Cortland. You might as well tell us. So, help, let's help him out. He said it goes deeper than that. I, I literally went to dress the part. So I'm thinking what you're putting on your attire. I'm, I must be wrong. Uh, We're going to give a second. Hopefully he's typing. Mm -hmm. Restream that added music on here. Y'all tell me, do you mean you all get overlooked? Uh-oh. Let me see. Y'all tell me if y'all can hear this. Come on, Reese. I don't know if this is supposed to be my background music. Y'all hear that? All right. Well. I try to put some, you know, weight music on. Okay, you hear? We stream's trying to come up. This is our waiting for Portland to type music. Portland is not typing. He not gonna answer. But okay, Portland. So, how about this? Corey, well, why don't you call Corey and tell her what you're talking about? Or inbox Corey, and you can take your time to type it out. Y'all see how I did that? Y'all see how I did that right there? Y'all see how I did that? Because <laughs> we in real life relationship growth. That's what we here for. <laughs> okay, so Cortland said, yes, Corey, that's part of it. All right, y'all. So we're going to leave on that note because it's late. I'm hungry. 
And I have another meeting that started at nine o'clock. Yeah, you see me, girl. You see me, girl. You know, I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right. With 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 permission, with permission, Chuck Chuck Woolery. <laughs> oh man, I should have found my, my 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 other music. With permission, Cortland. Oh, um, can you type what you were trying to say to Miss Corey B? She's she's a friend of mine. Corey Cortland is my baby. That's my cousin. That's my baby cousin. So I I vouch for the brother. So just in the point of conversation, just for the point of conversation, if y'all could connect to to extend this conversation a little bit, I'm I'm asking for me. I'm asking for me if y'all don't mind, because Corey and I inquiring mind cool, cool beans. Okay, okay, sorry. I'm sorry. All right, we gonna get off of here, y'all. We gonna get off of here. Corey said, "Cool beans." Cortland, go ahead and reach out. Take a little time. Tell Corey what you was talking about, and we gonna talk about it later anyway, cause we talk all the time. Um, uh, let's see. What Mike said, I see way too much masculine energy with a lot of women nowadays. I love how we act just like. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Donna be on 10. Girl, yeah. <laughs> Mike, I hear you. I heard you. Yeah. yeah. Mike, there is a lot of masculine energy with a lot of women days. And I'm going to personally speak for myself and a lot of other women. Let me tell you why. Then we're going to wrap this up. The reason you see a lot of masculine energy, brother Mike, Mike is my brother from another mother, is because a lot of us women are put in positions where we have to wear that hat. We have been hurt, used, abused, left, um, not considered, catching hell for somebody else's foolishness. And... Corey is, is, is I, I, Corey and Corlin cracking me up, y'all. Corlin said he gonna make sure his voice is extra deep because he gonna do the voice recording. <laughs> Mike, yes, thank you. Oh, we're gonna end it right there. My brother said it. Yes. The million energy comes from feeling like you have to defend yourself. I have been for so long, so, so long, in a masculine mindset so long why because and i learned why mike said it therapy i learned why i chose the men that i was choosing i learned why i was choosing the men that i was choosing to allow in my life and it put me in a position in a place where i had to continue to be masculine to show the masculine part, to be the one in control, to be the one with my guard, to be this and then to be that and to be that. And I'm taking accountability as well. But therapy, Mike said it, therapy. If you don't take the time to get some help from those untapped, unhealed traumas and the ones that you didn't even realize you had, you are going to continue to destroy your life and your relationships, period. And please understand, it's going to hurt before it heals. Don't give up on the process. If you are in counseling, don't give up on the process. Do not, not run from it because the person has made you angry. The therapist, the psychiatrist, the counselor, whatever, has made you angry and is pulling out some things that hurt. Let them rip that freaking Band-Aid off. Off and scream if you have to, but watch the healing when the good oxygen gets to the sore. Trace, tra you late, girl. We get ready to get off. Ah, Carla said it is because society has fooled y'all into thinking there are no more masculine men left. 
Well, let me tell you about society fooling me. A hit dog will holler. What we saying? What we saying? A hit dog will holler. Said a hot dog, but I knew what he was saying. Society has fooled some, and actual life experiences has shown others. There we go. The masculine energy. But let me tell y'all something, and I'm getting off for real. I am so ready. I am so ready for that soft, gentle, feminine to to just be. Mm, to just be. And God is blessing. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all have a great night. I so enjoyed I so enjoyed this. Y'all, um, we got to keep this thing rocking. Keep this thing rocking. All right? Autocorrect. Yeah, I got it. I got it, Mike. I got it. Y'all have a good evening. I'm going to get off this thing and get on this other meeting that I'm 34 minutes late for. But this is so well worth it. I love y'all. Find somebody to love on. And if you already have somebody, go that extra mile. Love them over the top. And watch them reciprocate. If they're not reciprocating, first understand their traumas, understand their reasonings, and then make a decision. All right? Love y'all. Good night. Noreen, Jeremiah, um, um, the people that are on for the first time, love y'all. Hey, next week, Thursday, if you want a topic you want to discuss, something that you that's hitting you, Send it to me. Inbox me. It can be anonymous. Nobody has to know. Or you post anonymously. Anonymously. Anonymous directly to the Facebook page. There's a button. If you type something, if you share a meme, anything, and you want to say, hey, let's discuss, hit the anonymous button. I will never know. They will never know. We will never know, but you will know, and we can get some answers possibly for you or some help. All right. Love you too, Noreen. Glad you were on. All right, y'all. I'm out. Let me end IG first because whoop, IG be playing games, and I, it takes me a little bit longer. Sorry, y'all. And we are going to share. Yeah, sorry, y'all. My hand in the way. My apologies. I got to go back to IG because they asking all kinds of questions at the end. All right, Facebook. All right, YouTube. Love y'all. See y'all next week. See y'all topics.